Okay, so this weekend, um, an NFL player by the name of Jaleel Ede and his fiance Lindsey Nelson came under fire because of some comments that were made on an Instagram story. The Instagram story um, had the caption, more light-skinned kids. Um, it hits home for me because I am a product of the biracial relationship. My mother and father were married. Um, my father dated, uh, I believe he dated, uh, African American woman before he married my mom. And then he was even married to an African American woman before that. So, um, there's a lot of things going on and people are saying different things. Um, but it really hit me hard because I know that my mother and father loved each other just because they loved each other. It wasn't because she was white and it wasn't because he was black. They just n naturally fell in love with each other. Um, when, when dealing with something like this, you got to understand that a person that's going to make a post like that or even have something to say like that, they're really dealing with some psychological issues. Um, I don't know what happened to him to make him feel as though, you know, light skin is in or whatever, or, or light skin is, is him having light skin kids is like a big whoop de do Like, having... I mean, having light-skinned kids or a fair wife or anything, it's not going to take away whatever happened to you in the past or whatever is making you feel this way. I, evidently, somewhere down the line, something actually happened to you to make you think that a, a fairer skin or a skin that's not as dark as yours is superior to you. Now, I do have to tell you, me and my sister, we weren't raised around our black side of the family because we didn't know our black side of the family. Um, later on down the line, we found out they were in Texas when we were like in our 1920s. That's when we found them and um, my father had moved away from them. But that's a whole different story within itself. Um, so I can't really give you a view of being raised biracial in the black family and having to deal with colorism in it because we didn't have any black family or or colorism or anything like that we just had our mother and our father and like I said my father taught us that we were human beings first before anything now I can't speak much within colorism within the, the black household black family household because like I told you we weren't raised around um our family we didn't know our family but what I can tell you is about light skin privilege and how real it is it is very real and I have experienced it and I can also tell you that since our family um, had grew and things of that sort by when you know we went off and made our own families I I have experienced actually you know what I can tell you about being raised in a black household because the families that we combined um it, it 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 is within a black household so i will speak upon that now most of my family is fair skin i'm going to tell you most of my family is fair skin i'm not going to lie on this i'm going to be totally honest um so what i've experienced is um actually being around fair skin or light skin or whatever you want to say whatever you want to call it and there are instances where a darker person is the butt of a joke um, this is just off of what I've noticed or what I've been around or what I may have heard. Um, I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to say who said it or anything like that. But when it comes to, I do, I do know that light skin, um, people of color, they, they will make darker skin people the butt of the joke. Um, and please don't get my words wrong, because I'm not saying that all light-skinned people make jokes about dark-skinned people. What I'm saying is, some will and some do. Um, I'm just speaking off of my experience of being around pe light-skinned people and there actually being situations where jokes are made or something said. Now, no one in my family has, you know, condoning this kind of behavior. But being around other light-skinned people, 
they feel as though, oh, we're all light skinned and we can, you know, we get it kind of thing. It's almost like they feel as though because we're light skinned and everybody's light skinned within the vicinity, they feel comfortable to say whatever they want to say. It's somewhat like when a white person, when there's a bunch of white people around and they look to see if there's any, you know, black people around and then they say something ignorant or something like that, which I do know for a fact does happen because I'm mixed. So I, I know certain things that are said and I know certain things that are done, but I'm not going to put anybody out there and I'm not going to. I'm not going to expose anyone. That's not the purpose of this video, but it does happen. Okay, so I saw another YouTube video and a YouTuber was saying that um, the black men are telling the white women or the fair skin women that um, they were better than black women or whatever have it be. And in some instances, that may be the case, but it's not always the case. In, in most instances, both of the couplings know how they feel already. They know their position on colorism and how they feel of people of different colors. A lot of the t a lot of the times, it's not just that they're being told things. It's because they already know how each they both feel about certain people and certain colors. Most of the time when you meet someone and you decide this is the person for you and you're going to live the rest of your life out with this person or whatever have it be, you actually already know each other. You know each other's likes and dislikes and each other's views. So you can't just pin it and say that, oh, it's the black men telling the white women or fair women um, that they're be more beautiful or, or, or that they're better. A lot of the times... It's an agree, they both know how they feel. And then some will say, well, why didn't he check her? Why didn't he put her in her place? Why didn't he do this? Why didn't he do that? Well, sometimes, like I said, people already know how a person feels. And I just want to add that <clears throat> I live with my mom. My mom and dad had divorced and I live with my mom in the suburbs up to the age of maybe 10 or 12. Um... At the age of 10 or 12, I moved to the city with my father. I didn't know until I moved to the city that I was light-skinned. It wasn't ever a factor in my mom's household, but I remember it so strongly because when I was told I was light-skinned at school by, you know, kids, um, because I didn't know what it was. I, I was like, I just thought, you know, I, it, it was nothing that ever crossed my mind. My color was never nothing that crossed my mind at that age. But I remember going to my father and saying to my dad, Dad, am I light skinned? And he, the look that he gave me, it was like, I can't even describe it. But his answer to me was, no, you're a human being. You're not light skinned. You're not dark skinned. You're not this. You're not that. You're a human being. And you should treat everybody the same because everyone is the same. The only thing that differs is our morals and how we treat people. Now, I know I might get some hate for this ending part that I'm getting ready to say, but for me to do this video, I just wanted to do this video to get it out there. I don't know, to give my point of view on the situation, but it's upsetting because racism is something that can we can heal. You can racism is a choice. I don't want to sound like Kanye and say, you know, slavery was a choice cuz that's not what I'm saying either. But when you choose to raise your children and you choose to teach racism and you choose to teach your child certain things, you're going to get exactly this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the racism. If everyone, like Kanye said, just went off of love and built off of that, the world probably would be a better place. Now, I'm not saying I agree with Kanye and all the things that he says or anything else of that matter, but racism is something that can be fixed. All right, so I'd like to know how you feel. I'd love to see your comments, whether they're good or bad, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um... And actually, I'm, I'm going to leave off with this. If we teach love, there wouldn't even be any hate. 
So love your neighbor. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And that's it for now. I hope everyone has a good day. And um, the best wishes.